Hi everyone, my name is Jiren. So God is saying that there's some of you, you've been searching for the right kingdom spouse. You've been searching for the right partner, for the right wife. But there are certain things that you haven't been doing. You've been using your own effort and you've become disappointed because you can't find what you are searching for, what you are looking for. And you are even thinking that maybe there are no good women left out there. But look at this scripture in the book of Genesis chapter 24, verse 12. This is after Abraham sent his servant to go find a wife for his son Isaac. And this is what the servant did. Then he prayed, Lord God of my master Abraham, make me successful today and show kindness to my master Abraham. See, I am standing beside the spring and the daughters of the townspeople are coming out to draw water. May it be that when I say to a young woman, please let your Please let down your jar that I may have a drink. And she says, drink and I'll water your camels too. Let her be the one you have chosen for your servant, Isaac. By this, I will know that you have shown kindness to my master. In verse 15, before he finished praying, Rebe Rebecca came out with her jar on her shoulder. She was the daughter of Bethuel, the son of Milcah, who was the wife of Abraham's brother. The woman was very beautiful, a virgin. No man had ever slept with her. She went down to the spring, filled her jar, and came up again. The servant hurried to meet her and said, Please give me a little water from your jar. Drink, my lord, she said, and quickly lowered the jar to her hands and gave him a drink. After she had given him a drink, she said, I'll draw water for your camels too until they have had enough to drink. So you could see with this servant, this servant, there were two things that he did. He prayed to God, asking for a sign. And not only did he pray and wait on God, he also made a move. He made the first move. He went and asked the woman for water. So there are some people who are feeling like maybe there's no good woman out there, but it's because they haven't made the first move. They haven't gone to approach them and they are already thinking in their mind that maybe if I go to this woman she's going to decline me but look at the servant though he was a servant he still had the guts to go after a beautiful woman to still ask her for water so God is saying that if you are serious about finding your wife you will need to pray to God ask him for a sign and also you will need to approach you will need to have the guts you will need to have the courage to approach the woman and be be willing to speak to her. And also, that is why also I have my book, How to Attract Mr. Right and Get Married Within a Year. It's also for men to advise them on how to spot a woman who is wife material. Because you could see in this scripture, the servant was looking for someone who is wife material. Someone who's going to submit under her husband. Someone who is kind. Someone who is polite. So the link to the book is on the description below. And it's still on Black Friday they say it's 50 percent off so may god grant you breakthrough in finding your kingdom spouse in the mighty name of jesus may you fear nothing may you not be scared to approach this beautiful woman may you not be scared fearing rejection in the mighty name of jesus because once you pray to god god will make a way for you amen